What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again and today's unboxing is going to be a little bit of an older one but it is one that I picked up on Black Friday and I was just kind of waiting to do a you know uh, an unboxing on this one but this unboxing is, is going to be on the 4k ultra HD plus blu-ray plus digital code combo pack I know you guys can't really see the banner because it's like super shiny of uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu here or as a lot of people call it just Detective Pikachu but anyway, though, we'll start with the slipcover first before we move on to, you know, the other stuff here. So, of course, up here we have the banner to uh, denote what we have. And then we have a little thing right here. Blu-ray includes detective mode. And I'll show you guys what that looks like on the back here when we do get to it. And then we have uh, Ryan Reynolds and Justice Smith, which are two of the, two of the actors. So, them right there. And Pokemon Detective Pikachu and we have a little sticker right here that says there is a special Pokemon trading card inside So I'll be sure to show you guys that when I do unwrap it and hopefully it is still in there But uh, that's pretty much what the front cover looks like so you do have Pikachu right there And then I can't remember what his name is. That's uh, Justice Smith though But that is pretty much the slip the front of the slip cover. There's nothing to um, crazy about it. It's not shiny or embossed or anything. It's just like a flat Warner Brothers slipcover. But now if we take a look at the spine here, uh, we have the 4K Ultra HD logo, Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Legendary logo, and then Warner Brothers logo. And it is pretty much the exact same thing on the other side. So now we will take a look at the back here. And if you guys have not yet seen Detective Pikachu, there is a little description so you guys can pause and read that if you want to and of course you get some screenshots from the movie there and then you have Pikachu himself uh, Pika Pika which is you know what he says because uh, the guy in this movie is the only person that can understand him and then the special features here these are only on the blu-ray there is nothing on the 4k I believe so you do have the detective mode like they were talking about on the front Watch Pokemon Detective Pikachu like you've never seen it before and discover a world of hidden clues, behind the scenes footage, pop-up trivia, Pokemon facts, fun featurettes, Easter eggs, and more. So that should be probably pretty cool to watch. And then also includes alternate opening, My Pokemon Adventure, creating the world of Detective Pikachu featurettes, Mr. Mime's audio commentary, Ryan Reynolds outside the actor's studio, and music video. And then you do have a, uh, a little shiny little banner here that just tells you what you need for the complete 4k ultra hd experience so you need a 4k tv a 4k player and a high speed hdmi cable and of course just <clears throat> talking about the digital movie code it is movies anywhere for some reason um it does work in canada though like uh, some of the previous warner brothers movies that i've got like godzilla and that they do work even though they are movies anywhere so maybe that could be coming to canada soon who knows but I'll just zoom in here because these specifications are like super tiny. For the 4K Ultra HD, it is in 2160p Ultra High Definition, 16 by 9 widescreen. I'm assuming with an aspect ratio of 240 to 1. For an audio, we have or for audio we have a Dolby Atmos True HD track in English, and for the uh, we also have a 5.1 English descriptive audio track. We also have just a regular Dolby Digital 5.1 track. We have a French 5.1 Dolby Digital track and a Spanish 5.1 Dolby Digital track. So we do get the full meal deal, I guess you can say. And for subtitles, sorry if this is like out of focus here. Uh, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, French and Spanish. And for the Blu-ray, it is pretty much the exact same thing. 1080p high definition instead of 2160p. And other than that, it is pretty much the exact same thing. Same Atmos track and everything. I love how Warner Brothers does that and puts Atmos on their Blu-rays. But uh, one of the first times they can actually say what the MPAA rating is, or the MPA rating, because they're not called the MPAA anymore. But this one is rated PG for action slash peril, submerged in suggestive humor and thematic elements. And uh, looks like there is no Dolby Vision on here, so it looks like it's just HDR10. And it is 104 minutes, so um, around an hour and 40 minutes. So we'll just take off the slipcover here. And here it is without the slipcover. It's pretty much the, you know, the exact same thing, except you just get the, you know, the usual casting block there. So now I'll take out my knife, and I'll just 
slit this along the side and I'll open this up here. So have you, hold on, it's super hard to open. There we go. Still can't open it. There we go. So have you guys seen Detective Pikachu? Leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of it. So I will be getting to my review in a couple of minutes here. I don't know why this is so hard to open, but unfortunately it does appear to be some, some of the shrink wrap is stuck to the case. I hate it when studios do that. But, uh, sorry, I'm just making sure if there's anything else there. But here it is all unwrapped and everything. I'll just bring this off camera so I can take out the code. And uh, this is essentially what the code looks like, the pamphlet. Redeemer Digital Movie Code Movies Anywhere. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. And then you have the code right here. Um, don't think about scanning the QR code because the code will probably already be redeemed when this video is done. Or before it is uploaded. But uh, it did still include the Detective Pikachu Pokemon card here. So that's pretty cool. It's not like reprints or anything so they took it out. But, uh, you know, you have Detective Pikachu, and I believe it is a card that you can probably use in when you're doing battle or something. So he has 90 HP, and you have a little picture of him right there that is pretty shiny. And uh, you get Coffee Break here, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, and then you have Corkscrew Punch, which does 20 points of damage. So that is a pretty cool card here. I'll just open this up if I can. Try not to wreck the card either, but uh, it does appear to be something else behind it. I'll just get rid of that. But uh, that was just little ads. But here it is. Here's basically what the card looks like up close. Not really too too much else, and uh, you know it's just pretty much a regular Pokemon card. And then also that came with it. There is a Pokemon trading card online. Just basically telling you about the online trading card game and then just a little card here just says promo card detective Pikachu right there and uh, yeah that's pretty much what it is so pretty cool that they decided to add that <clears throat> I really like how um, when studios put some little trinkets in there for you but here is what the inside of the case looks like so I'll just pop the disc out here so this is what the 4k disc looks like it's like this kind of baby bluish color and you have 4K logos and Legendary Pictures logo, Warner Brothers logo, and then the Detective Pikachu logo right there. So nothing really to write home about, no artwork to talk about or anything. And then if we pop out the Blu-ray here, it's like a dark bluish color, so you can tell the difference between the 4K and the Blu-ray. And it's about the exact same thing, except you just get um, a Blu-ray disc logo instead of that. So I'll just bring this off camera for a second just so I can put the codes back in as well as the little cards here. But yeah, I really like how they included those cards. It's pretty cool with Warner Brothers. But that is about it for the unboxing portion of this video. I hope that stays. It doesn't slip and fall or something. But yeah, that's about it <clears throat> for the unboxing of this video. So now I will get on to my review portion. So what I thought of Pokemon Detective Pikachu here. I did actually think that this one had a chance to pass a billion because, you know, Pokemon is is a pretty big media franchise and a lot of people really like it and everything. I did definitely think it was going to pass a billion, but it did not. It failed miserably at doing that. It only grossed about like 430 million. Well, not only like it gross. That's a pretty good gross, but, uh, you know, definitely flew under everybody's radar, especially people thinking it could gross about 700 million and up. But I watched this one. I was kind of disappointed with it, but like not really. I still had some enjoyment in this one. It was, it, it did have some fun parts in it. Ryan Reynolds did a pretty good job as the voice of Pikachu, though I did think they probably could have picked somebody better. A lot of people thought Danny DeVito uh, could have did a good job. I know like maybe it's just a meme for a lot of people, but I think he probably could have done a good job as well. But uh, all the other people in this movie didn't do too bad of jobs in this one. The CGI looked really good. They did a really good job bringing all the different Pokemon to life and everything. And it was just uh, kind of fun to spot some of the other Pokemon in the background and everything. And it was, it, it was a pretty fun movie. My glaring faults with this one, though, were the story. The story, 
like it is like uh, because it is a detective movie. It, it's obviously a mystery, and you know uh, it's it's just really kind of like a standard mystery movie, like a whodunit kind of thing. And it's just a really kind of simplistic story. It didn't always work though. And uh, yeah, I thought the story could have been tweaked a little bit better. The pacing wasn't the greatest either. It did kind of feel slow at parts. Other times it kind of flew by. But uh, it's definitely a movie that could have been done a little bit better. And, you know, for, for what we got, it's not too bad. I would probably give it around maybe like a 6 or a 6.5. It's, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's not too bad. I didn't mind this one. But that's pretty much about it for my review of Pokemon Detective Pikachu here. It's like my shorter review of it. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Twitter, uh, Instagram and Twitter links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page and link for that will be down below in the description of this video as well to see what I've been watching recently. Also if you're new to my channel or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. A new video every Tuesday and Friday. So anyway though guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.